Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a delicious three-way burrito. In case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need four pounds of beef brisket, six green chiles, five Roma tomatoes, a half of a small white onion, two garlic cloves, four cups of pinto beans, large flour tortillas, flour, New Mexico chili powder, oregano, cumin, garlic salt, salt, and black pepper. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to preheat our oven to 325 degrees. All right guys, so now we're going to prepare our meat. So now I buy the meat at Costco, so it's already nice and cut. So now we're just going to season it with salt and black pepper. All right, so we're going to transfer our meat into a roasting pan. Now we're going to grab our salt, sprinkle it all on your meat, and use a good amount. And do the same with your black pepper. And just press it down. Okay, so now we're going to flip our meat over. and we're going to season that side. All right, so now we're going to add two cups of water. So just go all around. And now we're going to cover our meat with foil. All right, so now we're going to put it in our oven. All right, so now we're going to bake it for four hours. All right, guys, so we got 10 minutes until our meat is done. So now we're just going to roast our green peppers. And guys, so once our chiles are nice and roasted, we're going to transfer them into a plastic bag. And we're going to seal our bag so that we allow our chiles to sweat. And by now, our meat should be done. So now we're going to remove it from the oven. So let's remove our meat. And be careful because it's super hot. Looks. So just check and make sure that it is nice and tender, and it is. So we're going to remove all the fat, of course, because we're going to shred our meat. So look how tender our meat is. So we're going to remove the meat from here, so like that it cools down a little bit, and then it's easier for us to shred it. All right, so we're going to shred our meat. And it should be super easy, like I said, super tender. So it falls apart just like that. And let me tell you, the meat is so delicious that you can even make tacos like that. All right, so once you have your meat all nice and shredded, just divide it in half. One side is going to be for our chile rojo and the other one for our chile verde. So now that we have our meat, now we're ready to chop our tomatoes, chiles, and onion. All right, so I just transferred the remaining liquid from our meat. And in the same um, pan, I'm going to add one cup of water. Just like that we get all of that. We can use that to make our sauces. All right guys, so for our remaining liquid, we're going to remove the fat. Um, so like that we can use the rest to make our broth. All right, so just mix it back in your water. All right, so chop your tomatoes. All right, so our onion. 
So now we're chopping our onion. And because we like our green chile to be spicy, I'm going to add two chile serranos. I'm just going to chop them. And cut into small wedges. Okay, so just mince your garlic cloves. And lastly, we're going to peel and chop our green chiles. So just remove the skin. And I'm not going to remove the seeds, but if you want to, it's all optional. All right, so once we have our chiles are nice and peeled, now we're going to cut them. So I'm going to cut them in half, and then flip them over and cut them in half again, and then start chopping them. And so up until you get to the stem. And just repeat the same to all of your chiles. All right, so once we have our chiles all nice and cut, now we are ready to begin cooking. All right, so we're going to grab a medium frying pan. We're going to set it on medium high heat. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up and then we can begin frying. All right, so once oil is ready, we're going to begin by frying our onions and chile serrano, if you're using any. And we're going to fry them for a couple minutes. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to throw in our green chile and minced garlic. All right, so to that, we're going to add one and a half teaspoon of garlic salt one teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and a half a teaspoon of uh, crushed chili. And the crushed chili is optional. And now we're going to cook that for two minutes. And so after the two minutes, we're going to add in our tomatoes. We're going to give it one minute. All right, so after the minute, we're going to add two tablespoons of oil and just add your vegetables to the side. And to that, we're going to add our two tablespoons of flour. And just mix it. Okay, so now just mix it all together. And to that, we're going to add three, three quarters of a cup of our broth. And now we're just going to bring this to a simmer. All right, so once it comes to a simmer, try it for salt and see if it needs any. So I'm going to add a little bit to mine. And a little bit of more black pepper. Okay, so just mix it. And now at this point, we're going to add our meat. with your green chili and tomatoes. All right, so now we're going to reduce the heat to low. Cover it and let that simmer for five minutes. All right, guys, so after five minutes, this is what our green chili should look like. At this point, it's done. So now we're just going to set it to the side so we can begin working on our red chili. All right guys, so now to make a red chile, we're going to grab one cup of our broth and we're going to dissolve our chile powder. Now this is my favorite chili powder that I like to use. Um, so this is the one. So we're going to be transferring three tablespoons of the chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a quarter teaspoon of cumin. So just mix it in with your broth. And of course, it's all going to be to taste also. So, if you wanna start slow with the chili powder, then go ahead and do that. But for me, three tablespoons is delicious. 
All right, so once that broth looks like this, now we are ready to make a red sauce. All right, so we're going to grab a large frying pan. We're going to set it on medium high heat and we're going to add three tablespoons of oil. All so we're just going to wait for that to heat up. Make sure it's focused, focused. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to add three tablespoons of flour. And we're just going to mix it with our oil. So once our flour looks like this, now we're going to add our broth. And to my cup, I'm going to add a little bit more water. And now we're just going to mix it and bring it to a simmer. All right, so once our sauce has simmered and thickened up, Try it for salt and see if it needs any, or if you want to add more chili powder, then go ahead and do it. Uh, for me, it's perfect, so now I'm going to add my meat. And you don't want your sauce to be too runny because remember, we're going to be putting them inside of a burrito. All right, so now just mix it with your meat. All right, so now that we have it all mixed together, we're going to reduce the heat to low, cover it, and let it simmer for five minutes. All right, so after five minutes, our red chile is done. And let me tell you, that smells delicious. So now we're going to set it to the side and we're ready to make our beans. All right, so we're going to grab a small frying pan. We're going to set it on medium high heat and we're going to add two tablespoons of oil. And of course you can use lard or whatever your preference is. And we're just going to wait for that to heat up. All right, so once our oil is ready, we're going to add our four cups of beans that I already have a video on. So just make sure you go check it out. Just throw it in there. And we're just going to wait for them to come to a simmer. Right, so once our beans comes to a simmer, we're going to begin to smash them down. All right, so once your beans are nice and smashed to your liking, now we're going to add cheese. And just add your favorite cheese. And I like my cheese with a little bit of bean. And we're just going to wait for that to melt and then we're ready to make our delicious three-way burritos. All right, so once our beans are ready, we can set them to the side and get our tortillas ready. All right, guys, so once we have everything ready, now we are ready to make our delicious burritos. All right, so we're going to begin by adding a layer of our beans. All right, so we're going to grab our chile rojo. We're going to put it on one side of our burrito and then grab our chile verde and now we're going to grab it and fold okay and once you have your burrito we're just going to repeat the same process to all of our tortillas all right guys so once you have your burritos now take a big bite and enjoy it Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you, I like to bite into my burrito like that and my favorite part is the middle, you know, when both sauces combine. It's just seriously the best of both worlds. But I took, I cut it in half like that, you can, so you can see the inside of the burrito. Let me tell you that it's seriously the best. So cheers. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Seriously, super delicious. The meat, the beans, everything is the best. Hope you give it a try and enjoy it.
Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make a delicious three-way burrito. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.